Hello, I'm here in London with Tim Jones. Um, today we're going to talk to you about the Paxman Descant Horn. The Descant Horn was the first collaboration between Bob Paxman and Dick Merriweather when Dick came over from Australia in the 1950s. He had ideas for building a double Descant Horn in B flat and F alto, something which had eluded manufacturers until that point because of problems combining the two. Um, Dick had some ideas and worked together with Bob and came up with a solution um, which became the Paxman Model 40, the first um, really successful double descant horn. Tim's going to talk about that old design and how the design has changed over the years and the benefits, the pros and cons that you get with, with both models. Um, so, over to you Tim. Thanks Steve. Yeah, as, as um, Steve said, um, Dick's ideas uh, was his first collaboration with Bob. Um, and then one of the key features about the model, the, the Descant horn, the model 40 as it was called then, was to incorporate a design that had independent D pipes for both the high F horn and the um, B flat horn. And of course, incorporating his other ideas with the airflow going in the same direction on both sides of the instrument like it does on the Model 20, for example. Anyway, Dick was able to come up with a design that incorporated that key feature, and it was a key feature because um, up until this point, most descant horns had um, evolved with where they shared a lead pipe for both sides of the instrument. And now, although that might have been successful for the, the higher form, it was very unsuccessful in the main for the B-flat horn, um, and, and especially in the lower middle register. And Dick's design came up with this idea for independent lead pipes and that enabled the um, B flat horn to be played just like any normal B flat horn and it felt very familiar. So, and it was called the dual bore system, although I think more probably for its day it should, we should have said the um, dual lead pipe system. But uh, just to show you, this is an original uh, design uh, this from the early 70s, this one. Um, and what it means is, is that this actually here this bit is a fourth lead pipe just for the, for the hand position. But the, the, the air comes in here, and then you've got an independent F lead pipe here, and an independent B flat lead pipe here. Now that was really significant. Um, these days, of course, with the latest design, which is slightly different, um, we've changed the, the change valve to be positioned up here. Now, one of the first horns we made with the change valve in this position was in, in fact, um, a B flat, B flat soprano, B flat soprano being the same length as a trumpet. And that, one of the first horns like that was actually for, I believe for Barry Tuckle when he recorded um, the Zelenka concerto, uh, uh, pieces, concertos. Um, that, in fact, is the only way you can build a B flat soprano. B flat, B flat soprano with a chain valve up here. And we also changed that design to, to for the Model 40 as it was known then. Gives it, because it gives one real extra, another extra benefit. It enabled us to have the bell taper from right here all the way round out exactly the same on this B flat horn as it is on our normal double horn. And so you could, the, the B flat horn on this Model 40 plays just almost identical to a normal regular double horn. And that was a key feature, enabled us to get a proper first branch in there. And of course, these days, the horns, the descant horn is actually not only um, a, a dual uh, lead pipe, it's actually dual bore. We make the descant horns with um, 12 millimeter regular bore for the B-flat slide and slightly smaller, I think it's 11.3 for the um, alto side. So it's actually dual lead pipe and dual bore on, on the latest descant horns. And also due to popular demand, we are bringing to production a latest version of the original design with all the modern manufacturing benefits that that will bring. So we are making both of these today. Thanks for your time. Bye-bye.